Welcome to our series, Fine Poetry, Poems That Touch Deeper Chords. Today, we continue with the poetry of James Cousins, part one. High and Low. He stumbled home from Clifton Fair with drunken song and cheeks aglow. Yet there was something in his air that told of kingship long ago. I sighed and inly cried with grief that one so high should fall so low. He snatched a flower and sniffed its scent and waved it toward the sunset sky. Some old sweet rapture through him went and kindled in his bloodshot eye. I turned and inly burned with joy that one so low should rise so high. The quest, they said, she dwelleth in some place apart. Immortal truth, within whose eyes, who looks, may find the secret of the skies and healing for life's smart. I sought her in loud caverns underground, on heights where lightnings flashed and fell. I scaled high heaven, I stormed the gates of hell, but her I never found. Till through the tumults of my quest, I caught a whisper, here within thy heart I dwell, for I am thou, behold, thou art the seeker and the sought. The Wings of Love I will row my boat on Muckross Lake when the grey of the dove comes down at the end of the day and a quiet like prayer grows soft in your eyes and among your fluttering hair the red of the sun is mixed with the red of your cheek. I will row you, O boat of my heart, till our mouths have forgotten to speak. In the silence of love, broken only by trout that spring and are gone, like a fairy's finger that casts a ring with the luck of the world for the hand that can hold it fast, I will rest on my oars, my eyes on your eyes, till our thoughts have passed from the lake and the sky and the rings of the jumping fish till our ears are filled from the reeds with a sudden swish and a sound like the beating of flails in the time of corn. We shall hold our breath while a wonderful thing is born from the songs that were chanted by bards in the days gone by. For a wild white swan shall be leaving the lake for the sky with the curve of her neck stretched out in a silver spear. Oh, then when the creak of her wings shall have brought her near, we shall hear again a swish and a beating of flails and a creaking of oars and a sound like the wind in sails as the mate of her heart shall follow her into the air. O oh, wings of my soul, we shall think of Angus and Care and Eten and Midir that were changed into wild white swans to fly round the ring of the heavens through the dusks and the dawns unseen by all but true lovers till judgment day. Because they had loved for love only O oh, love, I will say, 
for a woman and man with eternity ringing them round and the heavens above and below them a poor thing it is to be bound to four low walls that will spill like a peddler's pack and a quilt that will run into holes and a churn that will dry and crack oh better than these a dream in the night for our hearts mute prayer that O'Donohue, the enchanted man, should pass between water and air and say, I will change them each into a wild white swan like the lovers Angus and Midir and their loved ones care entertain because they have loved for love only and have searched through the shadows of things for the heart of all hearts through the fire of love and the wine of love and the wings. A curse on a closed gate. Be this the fate of the man who would shut his gate on the stranger, gentle or simple, early or late. When his mouth with a day's long hunger and thirst would wish for the savor of salted fish, let him sit and eat his fill of an empty dish. To the man of that ilk, let water stand in his churn instead of milk that turns a calf's coat silk. And under the gloomy night may never a thatch made tight shut out the clouds from his sight. Above the ground or below it good cheer may he never know it nor a tale by the fire nor a dance on the road nor a song by a wandering poet, till he open his gate to the stranger early or late and turn back the stone of his fate. Vision. When I, from life's unrest, had earned the grace of utter ease beside a quiet stream, when all that was had mingled in a dream to eyes awakened out of time and place. Then in the cup of one great moment's space was crushed the living wine from things that seem. I drank the joy a very beauty's gleam and saw God's glory face to shining face. Almost my brow was chastened to the ground but for an inner voice that said arise wisdom is wisdom only to the wise. Thou art thyself the royal thou hast crowned in beauty thine own beauty thou hast found and thou hast looked on God with God's own eyes behind the plow black wings and white in the hollow follow the track of the team while the sun from the noon declining is shining on toil-damp brows. Birds of the mountain and seabirds circle and swoop and scream, searching for spoils of the furrow, where slowly the plowman plows. Make me room, O oh birds, I am sweeping from the boughs of sleeping afar. I have winged through the mists of the ages, where sages drone 
and drowse. I follow the feet of the horses that drag the morning star to search in the spoils of the furrow where God the plowman plows.